Hello, this is Srijit from Avaya Client Service. This video is about how to configure DECT station in CM. First, I will show you the configuration in CM and then we will move to IP DECT. Here I am using CM 5.2.1. To configure DECT station in CM, we need to enable special application SA8567 in the license under chain system parameter special application. I will enable this feature in page 4. After that we will check if we have the license for X mobile stations. It's not possible to configure X mobile stations if maximum number is set to 0. If the special application 8567 is not available, the number of X mobile stations will remain 0. Here I have license for 20 X mobile stations. After that we will configure the name and IP address of DECT R4 in node names. In change node names IP, we will define the node name of ASCOM master followed by the IP address. We can also define the standby node name and its IP address for redundancy. Now we will define codec set for IP base stations. IP base station codec set supports following codec G.711 mu law, G.711 a law, G.723 5.3 kbps, G.729 a. We can use one of these codec depending upon our network configuration. We also need to make sure that media encryption is set as none. The communication between CM and IP DECT system is done via IP trunk. Now we will configure trunk group between CM and IP DECT. Here I am using trunk group number 2 with group type set as ISDN, group name has IP underscore DECT, tag has per our dial plan which is star 2, direction will be 2 way dial access enabled and will configure carrier medium as H.323. Now I will define the service type as tie. For member assignment method we will come back later on this page. Now moving to the next page, page 2, code set to send display set as 0, digit handling in and out will be set as overlap slash end block. Moving to third page, we will keep the NCA TSC trunk group member blank as of now. Send calling number yes. Format will be unknown private. Moving downwards, we will also enable send connected number. Now we will configure signaling group. Here I am using signaling group number 2 with group type as H.323. Now we will set TSC values as 1, trunk group for TSC value 2, trunk group for channel selection 2, X mobility type has DECT. Now we will configure the near end and far end node name. Near end node name can be configured as Procker or CLAN, far end node name has ASCOM DECT. The near end and far end listen port is set as 1720 with network region configured as 1. Moving further, we will enable layer 3 trust Y and interworking message has progress. Need to make sure call share IP signaling connection is set as no. Now we will go back to trunk group number 2 to define signaling group. Member assignment method has auto. Signaling group has number 2. Number of members 10. Now on third page we will define TSC value has 1. Now we will configure the DECT station. The DECT station administration type should be X mobile. No security code is required. We can define any name. The X mobile type should be set as DECT. 
For CM6, we will use IP deck. The length of display should be set as 16 cross 2. We will set mobility trunk group as 2. Configuration set will be blank. Cell phone number will be the station number with mapping mode set as both. By this we finish the configuration of CM. Let's move to IP Direct web interface. Click on system administration. On the left hand side click on Direct. Now select master. Under IP PBX set PBX mode as ACM, protocol has H.323 and ARS prefix has 9. Now select trunks. In trunk, the primary trunk name is set as trunk. Local port has 1720, similar to the signaling group configured in CM. Call server IP address can be proper or CLAN, should match with signaling group of CM. Call server port has 1720. Now click OK. To add user under administration, Click Users. Now select New. Define the long name of extension, display name of extension, and the extension number defined in CM. Enter the IPEI IPDI number and authentication code. Click on Apply and select Show. It will show all the list of subscribed and non-subscribed extensions. This is how we configure IP deck station in CM 5.2.1. Thank you for your time and watching this video. We hope that information was useful and we welcome your suggestions, feedback and question at mentor at avaya.com. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.